Hi, Jürgen. Um, I just wanted to ask about Ozan Kabak, if I could. Um, he says that he wants to stay. I'm just wondering where do you see his, his future and, and how do you assess the, the short time he's had with the group so far? Ozan was absolutely incredible, did a great job, not to forget he's a, he's a young, young, young boy um, with <sighs> incredible experience al already. So he obviously was in different clubs, uh, moved early from, from Turkey to Germany, played there in two big clubs in Germany in difficult situations, which was obviously not his fault, how we all could see when he when he arrived here, yes, um, it needed a little bit of time to adapt, but then he played super games for us. Just I, I don't want to pick any games out, but the two Leipzig games were absolutely incredible. If you think how good Leipzig Leipzig could be, um, yeah, and all about the future, we will talk about really after after that, and we'll decide about that after after last match day, and um, then there's obviously enough time for that. Nothing else really to say about that. Okay, terrific. One for Dave Maddock, then Ian Ladyman, then Chris Bascom. Dave? Uh, Jürgen, um, I just wonder what you think about the, um, the, the, the character and spirit of your side, because I, mean, I know you're not there yet, but you've had the best run of any team in the Premier League over the last uh, nine games. And you've still had the same problems, and yet somehow you've 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 dealt with those problems, and that seems to be in part or a lot because of the spirit and the character, and just that that sheer sort of determination of the side. And I wonder whether that means almost almost as much to you as it as as the winning that they've done, you know, winning trophies that they've done in the past, to to do it under these circumstances, which we all know about. Yes, it means as much to me means as much to me but it's again um, and I think it's clear we couldn't have come in that situation if the both, both wouldn't have showed um, this kind of character their very special character but so it, life is like this if you are not performing on your top level people question from time to time your character in the moment when you stop and you get back on your feet if you want all of a sudden the character is there but the character not really changed so it's just sometimes we suffer of things we, are, we, 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 we don't have a lot of influence on and that's why um, things go the wrong way sometimes but I never question the character or the the mentality of this team but it was a it was a tough one and it is a tough one and again nobody wants to wants to talk about this season before we played the last game but that we are in a situation where this game is so decisive it's absolutely great news absolutely great news it's always like this, if you, have, if you qualify for a final, everything is perfect. But then you have to play the final. So, don't forget that. And we experience both ends of playing a final, obviously, as a club, as a team. And we want to be on the positive end of this final. And for this, we have to focus on the final and not... You would not ask me, or we, I can't remember, we were obviously in two, three European finals. You didn't ask me, whatever happens on the final day, are you already happy with the, the way to Kiev? Basel or um, Madrid. Um, obviously, I was then. I would have said, "Yeah, happy with that." But we, let's wait for the final piece, and um, so that makes all the difference. And that's what we are now thinking about. And not um, if you question ever the, the character of the players in a, in a not so good periods, you have to ask yourself why I did that. So the boys proved it now millions of times that it's not about their mentality or not about their character if something is going wrong. Super. Okay, uh, one for Ian, one for Chris, and then we go to the Sunday guys. Uh, Ian. Hi, Jürgen. Um, I was just looking back at your the season earlier, and when you look at the the first fourteen games of the season, and then the the last nine that you've played, the points average from those games would have won you the league. Um, and the and the spell in the middle, the fourteen games in the middle, would almost have got you relegated. Um, when you look back. How frustrating is it that that middle section did did happen, and also when you look at the, the other two sections, does that does that go a long way to convince you that really moving forward there isn't really much that needs to change in your squad? Oh, no! Look, obviously a season is a season. You cannot you cannot cut off the the positive parts from the negative parts, and then you say, oh, look at that, nearly there. Um, we don't see it like this. But I tried to explain it earlier. Um, I said when we lost, oh sorry, when we lost the 
our center halves, all of them, pretty much. We broke our legs, um, but could still we could still um, win games. Not with the most, not always with the most convincing football, but we could win games. We're still scoring all these kind of things. Then you, we had to, we had to, and we had to at that time to make midfielders. Um, to transform them into center halves, and that broke our spine because then the whole static was gone. Um, the, the young boys were not ready to play center halves. The, 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 the midfielders had to play center halves that time, um, and we lost rhythm. We lost pretty much everything all of a sudden, but not all the time. Let me say, let me remember one game in this very negative period where we, what you said, nearly or would have gone nearly relegated. The game away at Leicester. I never lost a game before like that. To be honest, never, and I don't know exact the number what I what I managed as as a coach or whatever, um, but that was so strange. We were the, that day the clear better side, played a really good football and lost. <laughs> so and we had these games and it was then like okay you cannot do a lot of things different. So it's not about that. You have just a football team is really is it is like an an orchestra or whatever or something else where, men, where plenty of people work together. And if one piece, you lose one piece, then you might, you might, you can, yeah, still do it. You lose another piece and then it gets really difficult. And especially in this league where everybody performs on such an incredible high intensity level, at least always, even not the best shape stuff like this, but the intensity of the game is always crazy. I mean, in that moment, you, you lose contact to the to the to the football you want to play, play or you're used to yourself and um, and to the other teams as well and that's why it happened so you need then time to settle again stuff like this and obviously we found a way out which is absolutely great whatever happens on Sunday we find we found a way out and brought us in a situation weeks ago it was not clear we, we would play we would play European League so that's now we, we achieved that already and that's not exactly what we wanted but it's better than nothing, um, much better actually, and gives you next year a lot of good games. And how ask United in a moment really if they like European League? I would say they, in a moment they would say yes. They love to play the final, have the chance to win it. So there we already did kind of a job, but not the job we wanted to do. Um, and how we said before, this year with the injuries we had, it was not a year where you can become champion in England. There's no chance for nobody. Kick out and as good as they are, three center halves of City, no, nope. three center halves out of United, no, nope. for the whole season pretty much. That's not, that's how it is. That was really strange. But fight back then, accept the difficulties, fight back, and make the best of it. And if we win on Sunday and if we qualify for the Champions League, then we made the best of it. That's it. Chris, last question, then we go to a very brief Sunday breakout. Chris? Okay, yeah. Yeah, can I just, you, you've mentioned that there's been a final, and you just mentioned a couple of the finals there. I mean, given what's happened, is this game comparable in, in terms of the prize to those finals? I, I was also going to ask, I mean, there's, it's a bit of a cliche about teams come out stronger in adversity. Do you think you're actually, as a team, even more bonded as a result of what's happened this year? Yeah, we, look, we in, I don't know in how many years, we will we will judge our time here when we look back and stuff like this and this is part of our story part of our history definitely this year and for a long long time we thought okay we, we, it looked like this will not be a year we will talk a lot in the future about they say yeah okay then happened this and the rest is come on forget it but the boys made still something special of it i have to say really special and yes of course that bonds that, that brings you together even more Definitely. So having celebrating the big the big wins together is nice and will stay forever. But going through tough periods makes you, of course, as a unit even stronger. And in that time, we didn't um, get distracted or whatever you however would say that, that, that nothing came got in between us. Yes, we had our moments. The players were not the best shape, like best mood. I was not the best mood. We had all these moments, but we always found a way to to really stick together. We never blamed each other. We never put the finger on each other and said, yeah, it's because of you, because of you, because of me, whatever. We always knew we came here together, we go through this together, and we will get stronger out of that. And We have to show that next year, obviously, and there's a new season and a long, long period in between, but we will give it a proper try to use all the experiences from that from this year as well.